Alright guys, so with the newer release of Tractor, um, they've um, added a flux button to the screen, uh, to the deck, which you can see right here. And uh, it's a really cool feature, now works with Scratch as well. Um, so if you're using vinyl or CDs, you can turn on the flux mode, hold down the loop, and it will just continue to loop, but continue to play through the track. So just to give you a quick demo here, if I have flux mode on and I turn it, you can see the playhead continues, and when I release, it jumps right back. So great function for the flux mode, uh, known as slip mode in uh, on the CDJs. So what I want to do is show you how to map a button on the S4 to use for that flux um, function. So it's really simple. Uh, it's way easier than I thought it was going to be, and uh, this is how you do it. So you want to go into the preferences in Controller Manager, um, and in Controller Manager you can see in the drop down at the top here you've got all the controllers that you've got set up in here. So you want to pick the uh, S4, and you will have a blank box here so long as you haven't uh, tweaked anything or added any settings. And this is where we just want to add in our controls. So what I'm deciding to do is, um, if we're not going to use all four decks, uh, maybe we're using the bottom two decks, uh, C and D, as uh, remix decks or something like that, there's not much of a use for the deck C button. So this button, if we press this, I'll show you what it looks like first off. If we press deck C button, it basically changes us from deck A to deck, uh, to deck C, and I'll show you how it looks. So it just changes the control they see the light jump from deck A to deck C and while it's on um, the lights are white on here and also on the screen showing us that deck C is now being controlled by this deck so we'll turn it off goes back to deck A um, so uh, what I can do is um, we can just go into the uh, controller manager let's just change the view back to here so we'll go into preferences into the controller manager and then make sure we've selected the S4 and then click add in. Now we want to add in, oh, my apologies, we need to add in down here, add in here and um, we need to go to deck common at the very bottom is flux mode on. So we set flux mode on and now we need to learn the button. So we hit learn and we go and press the deck C button here. Okay, and then it learns it, it tells us what it is. Now we can expand this out, we can drag this out so you can see the full thing. What we need to do is we need to set the assignment type to deck A because this is the deck that we want to, uh, it to relate to and that is it basically set. However, this is only turning it on, we've got no light feedback so we need to set an add out which basically means it's sending information out from Tractor which is the details about the lights. Now while this is still highlighted, if we click add out, it automatically offers us at the very top of the list the flux mode on button. So it knows what's going on. Um, so we'll hit flux mode on. We can, uh, it's already set this up. Simon is deck A. We know it's an LED output. So that's it. We've now set up deck A um, the button known as deck C here um, to control the flux mode on and off. So let's see if that works. We'll close this down and we'll press it. Oh, there we go. And the one thing we forgot to do, you can see it doesn't stay on. So what we need to make sure we do, go back into the preferences and on here we need to set this interaction mode to toggle. So the button has different uh, different functions. So if we set it to toggle, it'll toggle it on and off. We need to make sure that is set correctly. Now we'll go back and test it out. So we hit it on, and you can see um, the light remains on, and also the flux light on here is on. And let's try it, press it off, and we have it off. So it's all set up, ready to go. So if we press play here, and uh, we'll have a little, little play around. Let's just sync it up here, and so flux mode is currently off and we turn it on and flux mode is on and you've even got the visual feedback there as well so it's almost a perfect button to set up for flux 
and then you just repeat the same um, process for um, dex, uh, dex B. So again, you would go add in dex common and down to flux mode on and again learn and now we're going to set this to deck B and we'll press deck, the deck D button over on the other side here we'll press the deck D button for it to learn that and it comes up here deck D and again change the interaction mode to toggle make sure it's set to deck B and we're good then we'll do an add out Again, it gives us flux mode on automatically, and then it sets the LED to deck B, and then we're good on here too. So let's check, and we can see on the screen, flux mode's on, flux mode's off, and that's your two decks set up to use flux mode.